Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a video on a small haul that I've done. Um, I picked up a couple of things from CVS, some things that I've been trying to find and wasn't able to find until finally I found them. And um, also um, a couple of things that I picked up from Sephora. So, you know, let's get into it. First, I picked up the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And this is in the shade 322 Warm Honey. So, um, I have been looking all over for this and I couldn't find it in finally you know I was in CVS and I found it so um you know I'm I'm not oily but I do have combination skin so I'm looking forward to trying that out also I picked up the infallible pro matte powder uh the 16 hour powder and um, this is in 500 Sun Beige. And that is what it looks like. So, um, yeah, I picked this up along with the, um, the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this is in Caramel Beige. So, I am currently doing a first impressions on this, and um, so far, so good. So. Also, um, from L'Oreal, I picked up the um, Makeup Extender um, Setting Spray and, um, by, by L'Oreal. So, I wanted to try this out. I heard some good things about it. So, I wanted to try that out. I have been using the Urban Decay All Nighter. So, yeah. Um, another thing that I picked up was the Maybelline The Nudes Palette. I have been trying to find this and I have never been able to find it as long as you know it's just been out so I finally found it and so um those are the colors that are in it so um yeah let me This is the black. It's pretty good. So, um, yeah, this is, that is the dark brown. And that is a cream color. So, yeah, I finally was able to find it thank god so um um something else that i picked up was the rimmel wonder lash the um water free um mascara so um with argan oil so I haven't, um, I haven't used it as you can tell. Um, I have a couple of more mascaras that I need to get through, you know, before I open this one. So, but I had a coupon, so I went ahead and, and got it. So, another foundation that I picked up was the Maybelline, um, Fit Me Cream um, Stick, and this is in the shade 355 Coconut, 
and um, basically I bought this um, to contour with. So, um, and I used it and it turned out really, really well. It, um, it blended out beautifully and, um, it wasn't, it wasn't hard. So, yeah, I, I like it. So, um, I bought the Milani Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. And it's in black. So, um, I have the L'Oreal and I like the L'Oreal except that I have to set the L'Oreal, um, eyeliner when I use it in my waterline so it doesn't run. So I have to set it with a black powder, but, um... I wanted to try this to see if it was like the L'Oreal and um, hopefully it is so and hopefully it won't run on me so um, I picked up this little eyeshadow eyeshadow trio um, and it's called correct and this is by Black Radiance and this is what it looks like um it's very pretty greens so i look forward to i wanted to do um an eye look for saint patrick's day but i was in a rut i didn't feel like putting on any makeup then so I didn't do it. So next I picked up some um, Milani um, lipsticks and I got one, two, three, four of the matte lipsticks that just came out that I was just able to find and another one um a nude so um the first one is matte confidence and it's just um a red and it's a pretty red and that is what it's watch like. So, yeah, I I have a lot of reds, but I don't particularly care for them, so I'm hoping that I really like that one. The other is Matte Glam, and it's a really pretty purple. And that's what it swatches like the next is um matte naked and it's a pretty nude color it reminds me of hug me by mac so but hug me by mac is not um a mat and that right there is what it's watch like please for, forgive I lost my nail on this finger and I am going to get my nails done after I finish this so please excuse me um, the other is matte orchid And that is what it's swatch like. So it's really, really, really pretty. So, and the next one is not a matte. It's called um, Rose. And it's, you know, pretty nude.
and right there is what it swatched like. So, yeah, so those are um, some pretty, pretty lipsticks by um, Milani. So, I, um, I also was able to find the um, foil eyeshadows. And I got it in Florence, which is, you know, brown and copper. So, let me, that's what it looks like. And this one is Milan. And it's a brown and more creamy colors. And the next one is Wong, which is um, purple. And that's what it looks like. So they're they're really really sticky. So so that is the purple out of um, the um, purple palette. So I didn't swatch those. So they're really sticky. Also, I picked up um, some lipsticks from Wet n Wild. This one is 518D and that's what it looks like and that's what it swatches like. And this one is 538A Just Garnet. And it's a pretty, pretty wine, wine red color. And that's what it looks like. And the next one is 526C and Retro Pink. And that's what it swatches like. So, um, you know, that's what I picked up from the drugstore. And what I picked up from Sephora was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in Medium 2 Ginger. And that's what it looks like and that's what it swatches like so and um Also, what I picked up from Sephora is um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I did use this on my face before I um, put on my, my 
other primer and my um, foundation. So I, it helped. Um, the foundation went on really, really nice. So I don't know if it was the foundation or the primer water, but yeah. And so the last thing that I picked up was um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And this is what it looks like. And everybody has been raving about this um, palette. And I um, I've used it and I like it. I, I really, really like it. So um, it's not really, really harsh, but it gives you a nice, nice, you know, shadow. So yeah, so that is, I was between, it was between that and the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I couldn't find the Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I found this, and I, I like it, so, um, I've, I've used it, and it is really, really nice, so I would recommend buying that. I don't know about the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit, but I do like that one, and I would um, recommend that one. So that is it for my haul. I thank you for taking the time out to watch this video and spend time with me, and um, yeah, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and um, please do not forget to subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section, and I will get to them. I thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.